Hi, meteorologist Tony Petraka in the Pinpoint 12 Forecast Center. You've uh, clicked on the Weather Now link. Thanks for logging in. Hey, it's Friday. It's the weekend. It's almost here. And we're tracking um, a lot of changes for the weekend. <clears throat> Very changeable weather. We've got clouds, sunshine, mild temperatures for some. Uh, part of the weekend has uh, some rain showers in it. So uh, let's get started. Uh, first of all, finally today, uh, many locations topped out in the mid-50s. These are pictures, of course, from downtown Providence. We're taping this as of, um, what time is it, 7... 7.15 this evening, 7.20. It's pretty quiet. I mean, heading out tonight, I'm not expecting any big issues. Maybe a couple of sprinkles, if that, but uh, essentially a mostly cloudy, dry, cool night. Not cold, not frigid. We'll stay well above freezing tonight. In fact, look at the high temps today, which topped out in the, uh, the mid-50s inland and along the coastline. It was a little cooler, Newport at 50. Uh, Providence topping out at 55, 56 in Taunton, and even milder for tomorrow. But we've been saying this all week, and I know I sound like a broken record, cooler at the coast, cooler at the coast. But this weekend, because of the sea breeze, it'll be much cooler at the coastline. So this, the 60 degree temperatures that we're forecasting, uh, it's very location dependent. You've got to be uh, away from the ocean. So uh, milder for the next couple of days, both Saturday and Sunday, upper 50s to low 60s across the inland areas. Uh, shower chances, we had, uh, we had a few showers this afternoon. Um, we got better chances of some rain coming in. Looks like the um, second half of the weekend. Dry Saturday, dry Saturday night. Even most of Sunday morning dry. Bringing some rain in here Sunday afternoon and Sunday evening with an approaching cold front. And that'll really knock down the temperature by Sunday night into early next week. And then looking ahead, uh, middle of next week, a lot of our long-range computer guidance uh, showing a, an offshore storm on Wednesday, just how close or, or how far away. It tracks will determine whether or not we get any rain and wind from that, but that's obviously several days out. Uh, some of the showers that came through this afternoon have pushed offshore. Again, slight chance of a sprinkle this evening, but uh, mostly a, a dry night coming up. So what we're tracking here is a, a cold front which stretches from uh, well, New England all the way through back through the Midwest. So what will happen is that this area of low pressure is going to track... Um, north and east and what it will do on its uh, on its track uh, towards us on Sunday afternoon what it will do is it'll bring it'll draw in that cold front and it will produce some showers the second half of Sunday all the front is doing is just separating uh, you know cool air on one side of it in blue and the green and yellow shadings represent some of the milder air that we'll have uh, over the next uh, couple of days let me walk you through it hour by hour starting off this evening and you can see, uh, you know, 7 o'clock tonight. Initially, we're starting off in the uh, upper 40s to low 50s. Little blips of green indicating maybe a sprinkle, but basically dry tonight and mainly cloudy. Stay in the 40s all night long. Here we are tomorrow morning, 7 a.m. Now, be patient. Um, it kind, of, kind of a slow start. We'll start with clouds and temperatures in the 40s. I wouldn't rule out a sprinkle just before sunrise, but we've got a dry Saturday coming up. Now, watch how... Let me get rid of my picture here. You know, watch how during the afternoon the temperature is jumping to um, the low 60s inland and 50s at the coastline. There may be too much cloud cover on this particular example here. I do expect uh, at least, uh, I don't, well, I don't expect a mostly sunny Saturday, but rather a partly cloudy kind of a cloud-sun mixture uh, coming up on Sunday. These inland temperatures will be uh, in the lower 60s and the coastline in the 50s. This 57 in Newport may be too cool. I'm thinking probably low 50s. Even in Bedford, that 59 may be too warm. I'm thinking maybe mid 50s. So about 50, 55, right along the shoreline. But inland, we should reach the lower 60s. And while we're showing what appears to be a solid overcast, it's going to be more of a cloud sun mixture uh, during the afternoon hours. But with such high humidity passing over cool waters, wouldn't it surprise me if right along the water's edge and at the beaches, it, it stays cloudy all day. So uh, bottom line, the better weather is the further inland you go on a Saturday afternoon. Now your Saturday night is actually pretty comfortable. Look at 11 o'clock Saturday night. It's in the 50s. It'll feel like a spring night with uh, under mainly cloudy skies. Here, and here it is in more detail uh, because we're anticipating this uh, sea breeze. Really both Saturday and Sunday, the area is shaded in blue. That includes the lower part of the bay, the coastal mass, the islands. 
uh, this blue area probably temps in that 50-55 range, especially right along the water's edge, the wind coming in off the water. The ocean's only running at uh, like 39 degrees. Areas in orange will have the milder temperatures, especially northern suburbs, you know, northern Rhode Island, northeast Connecticut, Taunton, you know, 62, 63 degrees by around 2, 3 o'clock on Saturday afternoon. And even Sunday, though, it'll be short-lived, um, a brief warm-up Sunday at noon before temperatures start to fall back. So for this evening, uh, partly to mostly cloudy, cool but not real cold. The temperatures in the evening hours staying in the upper 40s. Uh, tomorrow morning, a slow start, 46 degrees, cloudy start, um, breaks of sun by mid to late morning. And then during the afternoon, now this is an inland forecast, a blend of clouds and sun. We'll call it partly cloudy. Temperatures in the lower 60s. You get near the coastline, and we're cooler, probably low and mid-50s. And I think uh, extra clouds along the coast as well, with such high humidity kind of passing over a cool ocean. Sometimes that humidity condenses into low clouds, and, and that may plague the immediate south shore and the beaches on, on Saturday afternoon. Uh, let's take a look at the, uh, the seven-day forecast. And this cold front arriving on Sunday, I still think the passage or the arrival time is Sunday afternoon. So we'll start off mild and, and dry during the morning, briefly getting to the upper 50s to near 60 in some spots. But then as the front draws close to some afternoon showers, that'll knock the temperature back down. And then by Sunday evening, as the front moves offshore, much cooler air settling in. So by Monday and Tuesday, we're talking highs only in the upper 40s. And you see Wednesday, we're putting some rain in the forecast for Wednesday for now, depending on just how close or, or far offshore that coastal storm tracks. So we'll keep an eye on that. Uh, in the meantime, um, you know, weather staying quiet for tonight and uh, some milder temperatures this weekend. For some, not all. You've got to be away from the ocean. So uh, that's the latest. Uh, check back with me tonight at 10 o'clock on Fox Providence and again at 11 o'clock on WPRI Channel 12 for an updated forecast. And uh, thanks for logging in, and we'll talk to you soon.